10. Lucille Ball was a tyrant on set. Tony Randall described her as extremely difficult to work with because she bossed people around and didn't spare anybody's feelings. Richard Burton was even more forthright, she is a monster of staggering charmlessness and monumental lack of humor. Milady Ball can thank her lucky stars that I am not drinking. There is a chance that if I had, I might have finished her. 9. Elvis Presley had a thing for underage girls. The king of rock and roll first met his wife Priscilla when she was 14 years old. She, however, was not an exception. Elvis hosted sleepovers at his home for groups of young followers. He daydreamed about virginal purity. He even ordered Priscilla to dress up like a schoolgirl. Elvis lost interest in her after she became pregnant. 8. Bobby Fischer was an anti-Semite. Bobby Fischer was the only American world chess champion. But he also referred to Jews as filthy, lying deceitful bastards. He denied the Holocaust and that he applauded the 9-11 attacks. Fischer then demanded that the troops K. LL Jewish ringleaders. 7. Dr. Seuss cheated on his wife when she became ill. His 41-year-old wife was diagnosed with cancer. As a result, Seuss began an affair with a married woman 18 years younger. His wife took her own life because she couldn't bear the pain. Eight months later, Seuss married his new love. 6. The Wright brothers hindered aviation progress. Yes, Orville and Wilbur were the first to fly heavier than air. They also attempted to assure that no one else would. Every aviator who attempted to imitate the Wright's achievement was sued. Their 1906 patent, they claimed, encompassed all aeronautical principles. The legal disputes carried on for eight years. 5. Steve Jobs cheated his best friend out of his money. This was during Jobs' tenure at Atari. They requested him to create a smaller version of Breakout. Jobs was given a cut of the earnings. So he enlisted the help of his friend Steve Wozniak to work on the game. Wozniak received $350 for it after four restless nights. He only found out afterwards that Jobs had pocketed the rest. 4. Franklin D. Roosevelt was in no way progressive. The actions of Franklin D. Roosevelt prolonged the Great Depression. He interned Japanese Americans in camps. He refused to support anti-lynching legislation. He advocated for redlining, house segregation. What do you think of it for a new deal? 3. Salvador Dali was a fascist. He used to admire Hitler when he was a student. This could have been young contrarianism. However, Dal later referred to Francisco Franco as the hero of Spain. He even created a flattering image of Franco's daughter. 2. Virginia Woolf didn't want you to read her stuff. Perhaps not you particularly. Woolf, on the other hand, was a known snob. She totally agreed with the concept of the leisure class. Reading and learning, according to Wolf, should not be universal. She desired that it be reserved for the elite. 1. Confucius wasn't all that wise. Here's some philosophy from the man himself, a hundred women aren't worth one testicle. Another, it is the law of nature that women should be held under the dominance of man. Not as inspiring as the Facebook quotes, are they?